Hi there, it's Laura from I Heart Planners, and I am here to talk about all the different planner sizes. I mean, there's half size, full size, letter size, personal size, pocket size, mini size. Have you ever been confused by all this? Well, I'm here to clear up all the confusion, and I've created a super handy printable cheat sheet for you to help you understand all the sizes at a glance. So go ahead and click the link below to download and be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to hear more planning and organizing inspiration. So if you're feeling a little overwhelmed with all these different sizes and all the different planners, I have put together a cheat sheet that will show you at a glance the dimensions of each of these size of pages and the planners that you can get and what each company calls their planner size. So it's really easy for you to see it all at a glance. It's a great sheet to print out for reference. Be sure to click the link below to download it. So let's dive in. I'm going to go in order of biggest paper size to smallest. So first up, we have A4 and letter size. So letter size right here is what we here in the U.S. use as our standard, normal, everyday paper. Now, if you're living outside the U.S., you have A4 size. So A4 is just a little bit taller and a little bit more narrow, not very much, a little bit more narrow than your standard letter size. So in general, you can usually use these interchangeably in that if there's a printable design for a letter size, if you're outside the U.S., you can probably use A4 paper, no problem. The only exception might be if there was text you know, really close to the top and bottom that might get cut off. But in most cases, you will have no problem just printing right on to your A4 paper. Now, when we use these pages, um, obviously it's easy to walk in Target, Walmart, whatever store you have, and just get a regular letter size binder. And I assume it's the same outside the US to get some sort of A4 binder. There's three ring binders all over the place, but that's actually not my first choice because it's bulky, you can't fold it back on itself, it takes up a lot of space when you lay it out. So my first choice is to use disc bound binding system. So I get mine at Staples and I just punch the page, put it in, and I love that the punch doesn't eat too far into the page. And I'll leave a link below to check out a more in-depth post that I've written showing all about how the disc bound system works. All right, so next up we're gonna talk about the half size and A5 size. So if you are outside the US, you'll be using A5 size like this and um, it is half of an A4 size. And then in the US, it, we would be using half letter and that's just half of a regular letter size sheet of paper. So if you want to look at the two sizes side by side, um, the green one is the A5 and it's a little bit wider. And then you can see that um, it's also just a little bit shorter than the half letter size. So what that means is that for all practical purposes, when you see a printable that's either of those sizes, you can print on either side of size of paper, it doesn't matter. Now when it comes to putting these in a binder, um, my personal favorite one to use is of course the Sweet Life Planner. Um, and I love this because I just love the disc binding system and I love how it works, how um, you can move pages around and then how you can flip it back on itself. Um, that just works out so well. Um, but there's also six ring binders like Filofax and things like that. And in general, you can use the page sizes interchangeably as well in these different planners. The only thing to consider is that um, if you intermix the two sizes, it's going to look a little funny and a little less neat. And also, if you get this planner and you want pages that are already cut to size and punched for you, we do sell those in, in our shop, so I will leave a link below so you can find those. All right, next up, let's talk about the personal size. So um, here's how it looks next to a regular size piece of paper. So you can see it's quite a bit smaller, which is great if you want something portable. And I feel like there's still quite a bit of space to write on it. My favorite binder to use for this is the Six Ring Filofax binder, or also um, there's a shop where I like to get another cheaper brand of binder at blitzy.com. I'll link to that. Um, you can find these. Um, you'll need a punch, a six ring punch. Um, and this is just a great smaller size. 
All right, next up we have the pocket and the mini size. I'm gonna talk about these together because they are the two teensy tiny sizes. Um, so pocket, you can find these binders in a few places. You can find them Kiki K, Filofax, some other manufacturers make them. The mini, however, I've only seen Filofax make it because look at how tiny this is. Here's how it is in comparison to a full size sheet of paper. So it's pretty teensy. You're gonna have to be able to write pretty tiny and read pretty tiny um, to put much on, the, on here. But of course it is awesome for portability or just keeping little notes or something like that. And um, you will need a special punch in order to punch those to go in your planner. And remember that um, if you want a little quick cheat sheet that's gonna show you what all these different sizes are and where you can get these different planners, go ahead and click the link to download below. All right, so I hope that helped clear up a lot of planner size confusion for you. And don't forget that the cheat sheet that I made will really help you. And if you have some planner friends that would love this information, be sure to hit the share button, share it with them, and don't forget to subscribe because we have lots more great planning videos coming your way.